What can the president do to get that process going? Again, first thing, obviously, is to get mm -hmm. this, uh, get some sort of a ceasefire in place here. Well, the first thing I would do is is not do what he did uh, back in 2009 and have preconditions on Israel on settlement freezes. That made it a non-starter, among other things. The second thing I'd do is I'd find someone even as high-ranking, uh, frankly, as uh, former President Bill Clinton uh, to go and be the negotiator. I know he'd hate me for, for saying that, but we need a, a person of enormous prestige and influence to have these parties sit down together as an honest broker. But we have a lot of work to do to regain some credibility because we're crumbling all over the Middle East. Al-Qaeda's on the comeback. You saw in the last couple of days fighting uh, between the Kurds and Iraqis on the border. Uh, the whole uh, Mali situation where al-Qaeda has taken over. Al-Qaeda training camps are in western Iraq. Uh, the Iranians continue, as we see the latest IAEA uh, report, on their path towards nuclear weapons. It, you look at the whole Middle East, and it's been a significant failure. 